Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Your host, Lord of the Rings, Lord Famous Fortunes. No copyright infringement intended uh, today. Well, I hope you are well this Sunday, the 28th of July, 2024. Time's getting on. Isn't that right? When in any event, the Olympics is happening. The opening ceremony looks... Ooh, I don't know what to say about that. Didn't bring me joy, but in any event... All right, uh, moving on. Let's let's look today. Someone's asked a made a point, asked a question in the comments. Should we probe? You know, talking about karmic activity. Is Meghan Markle some type of karma on the royal family, or what is Meghan Markle's in terms of the royal family's sort of progression and path? and universal energy flow what at what sort of what stage are we at with megan what's the sort of the meaning of megan basically what is the meaning of megan to the royal family what a what an interesting show this is going to be i can't wait to dive in hope you're well like subscribe do all the things folks what is the meaning of megan to the royal family karmically we are going to investigate today draggy boys are on point good 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 we're all locked and loaded then let's dive in to the show. Is everyone well? Is everyone well? All right, let's have a look. So, is is the, you know, and the other point, actually, the other thing that uh, more to the, what specifically was asked in the comments, and I, 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 it's on my phone, so I can't actually recall who asked the question. I probably should have. But anyway, um, too honest, folks, I'm too honest. The thing with this is that is it Megan's sort of life path to disrupt the royal family was the question. Now, I thought, oh, that's interesting. We'll throw that in today. We'll start with that first and then we'll get into the sort of the karma of the royal family. You know what I mean? Let's 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 have a look. Let, let's have a look. Now, start with Ing. Start with. Starting with. Oh, here it is, the devil. Okay, straight away. Uh, <laughs> starting with the first question, which is, is Meghan Markle's purpose in life to disrupt or end the royal family? Let's throw some cards, see what we get. Interesting question. Very, very spicy question in many ways. All right, we can do that. Cards are hot. Is it? Is her life path to disrupt the royal family? Ten of Swords or end the royal family? Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. This is going to be really interesting. Seven of Wands. Prince of Cups. Okay, that's very localized energy. Page of Wands. Uh, the Magician. The Magician. Oh, Two of Swords as well. Okay, all right. So is it to disrupt or end the royal family? I don't see the royals being indicated here as a whole, which you would expect if we saw the Hierophante. If we saw the Hierophant here, I'd be like, hey, yeah, this is not looking very good at all. This looks like it's a major, this is a major karmic hit job in the royal family or something to that effect. It's, it's Megan's life path to sort of jolt them. Uh, we didn't see that. So everyone at home can just, you know, relax. The chests can relax, the sort of, we can breathe deeper and easier, you know, wipe the sweat off our brows. We can start breathing again. Remember to breathe, remember to breathe. Uh, and uh, it looks like we're good on that front. But, you know, let's just say that, okay, it's not the royals. It's not the royals. So what is it? It looks like a prince here. A prince there's a sort of energy with a prince coming in. It's her her life path is to, you know, I, I'm going to say this. There's prince energy in her life path. And I, I say the prince of cups, right? I've said that in a long time. It is the knight of cups, but there's no knights in the royal family, really. It's not kind of a thing. Um, yes and no. It's not really. It's the closest archetype to a prince we have is the prince of cups. All right. All right. All right. All right. But all the princes. Anyway, the prince of the knights. All right. All right. Now, just a little detour there, just to confirm the meaning. Her life path is to basically take out a prince. And I mean, you know, as a, he's not going to be a prince anymore. All right? <laughs> all right? That's what I mean. He's sort of ending, ending, right? Ending this sort of prince in terms of his princeness. Hmm. Interesting. What's this energy here with the Seven of Wands? That's... You know, a lot of mental energy is going into this for her and trying to, you 
you know, gain an advantage for herself, basically. That's what... But, and, and in effect, she's had to sort of steal a prince away. I know that we're not seeing archetypes of stealing, but it's like, you, you're not a prince anymore because I need you to not be a prince, you know, in a castle to sort of... Do, do you know what I'm saying? To, 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 that's the karmic thing that she has to do, is take... End Harry's prince. Just Harry. Just Harry is Meghan's basic, basic purpose, in, in a sense. And she's there to manifest that and not necessarily uh, end the royals, uh, let's say. So she has to bring that about as part of her karmic journey. Meghan's karmic journey. I want to just sort of, I've thrown a lot out. Bottom line this, I right, pour some tea. Meghan's karmic journey in life seems to be to end the princehood of royal, of, of, <laughs> of Prince Harry. All right, almost said the royal family, totally incorrectly there. I'm trying to sum it up sort of succinctly. It's the end of the princehood of Prince Harry. There's also a child here as well coming in. No, I mean, this could be Archie. Is there another one next? No, oh, I'll pull that out. Just display. No, one child. So have a child with Harry, at least one or only one. Uh, have, let's just say have a child symbolically. Let's say they have two, whatever way that is. Okay, I know that's going to ruffle a lot of feathers in the comment section, what I just said, but, you know, ruffle, let the ruffling begin. So, all right. It's, I mean, breathe a sigh of relief, royal fans everywhere. That's what I'll say. All right. So now we've looked, we've addressed that, basically. We have addressed that. It's she, her life path. She's here to take out Harry in, in you know, I'm sure there's more to it. But uh, that's kind of what she's there for. That's her cosmic purpose. Uh, so let's have a look. Now, what is Meghan Markle to the royal family in terms of karmic journey? If we're looking through the whole sort of thing, what is Meghan Markle to the royal family? This is going to be another way of looking at this from another angle, and we're going to get some very interesting things. What is Meghan Markle to the royal family karmically in the journey of the royal family? Cards are hot. Cards are hot, cards are hot, cards are hot. Magician again coming in. We just saw that. Oh, that's interesting. Ten of Swords. Mm, same cards. Ace of Wands. Two of Coins. Two of Swords. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So, um, okay, interesting cards. You can see the sort of same energies here. So now we're going to see a difference here between what she was actually, you know, here to do, which is take out Harry being a prince, uh, and what she tried to do. <laughs> interesting. And she's probably not going to achieve it. She's not going to achieve it. She's... She is going to try and end the royal family, right? Basically, that's what it is. That's the goal of manifestation here, right? Manifestation's her big thing. You know, sheer willpower, you know, regardless of all the unintended consequences, like forcing things to happen, right? It's very dangerous to try and force things to happen. I know a guy, actually, a long time ago. Let me tell you a manifestation horror story. He, what did he do? He was, um, he wanted to become a, uh, like a manager at a job he had. This guy I knew over a decade ago. He goes, I want to become the manager at this particular job. It's all this money. Da, 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 da. And he literally gave his, every, I want to say his soul. He literally gave everything for it. And, you know, a lot. And it kind of took a huge toll on the family and all the rest of it. And then he became manager. And then the company just, what, what, what happened? The company just collapsed like three days later. <laughs> but he goes it was so difficult becoming that manager i'm like maybe the, the the extreme difficulty was kind of saying hey maybe that's not the right thing but uh you know he put a lot of work into something that was just completely you know the, at the end of the day so it, by the same token there's a lot of mental energy there's a lot of sort of manifestation energy going on here um there's a lot of this attempt to try and end the royal family you know and that's kind of her mission it's her she's using her willpower to do it obviously it's backfired on her look at that back coordination on her with the nine of wands completely backfired on her big time 
and yeah it's there's a lot of doubt now whether she'll be able to do it in her own mind and that she won't be she's going to be blocked from doing it to a sort it's not a purpose not what she's meant to do but she's trying i guess if she's like if i can take harry's princehood away i can take everyone's you know it's, there is actually a hexagram in the I Ching. i should read it out talking about um you know people that get so far in life and they think that they'll just continue to make progress unabated i should get that hexagram and read it out it's fascinating i'm trying to remember which what changing line it is uh, which hexagram it is it's a changing line of one hexagram I should, if it comes to my mind I'll, I'll find it and read it out in today's show but nevertheless it's her attempt to take out the royal family will fail now this isn't quite the answer i wanted i wanted to see like is this end stage royal family is this like a blip on the radar or you know what what is it what what's the story but yeah yeah that's kind of maybe our next question i want to know more of that the big picture and where we're at in the scheme of things that's what i want to know uh in today's show so yeah just let that be known let's have some tea what is that hexagram it's bugging me now i can't remember it Uh, hmm. let's I'll have to look off camera probably let's have a look now where in the scheme of things in the, the arc of the royal family is Megan coming in to the picture where in the scheme of things in the grand cycle of the royal family the saga the multi-century long millennium long almost or maybe more saga Correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm, if I'm right or whatever it is. How long has this royal family thing been going on for now? It's uh, not as long as the Vatican, right? The Vatican seems to be going on for a long time. It's a big cycle. Longest, biggest, wasn't it the longest running organization in history? Isn't that something? All right, let's, let's, uh, let's have a look. Where in the picture is this happening to the royal family, the Meghan Markle episode? What's this? Ace of Cups. Where in the history, in the picture of the history, etc. Where's it coming in? Cards are hot. Death card. Oh. Hangman. Don't like those cards. Ace of Swords. Uh, Prince of Swords. And there's like attack energy coming in. Two of Coins. Page of Cups. Where is it? Is this, you know, dare I say, is this... Well, you know... Uh, uh, is this coming in near the end? Or is it coming in at a, at a, a, a sig probably the most significant revamp or change that the royal family has ever seen? I'll, I'm going to go with that because it's, it's broad enough to encompass an ending. Uh, this is, this is the biggest, this turning point for the royal family is the biggest turning point the royal family has ever seen at this time. So it's no surprise people, I guess, like Meghan Markle come along. You're right. Yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be the thing. Uh, I guess it's a sign of weakness in some ways. I, I guess it is. I guess it is. If your direct sort of progeny are teaming up with you know, oppositional forces to the royal family, that's not a good sign for the intrinsic strength of the royals. I, I would imagine. I would imagine. But such is family. Such is family. Right. So I, I would say this is a very, very significant turning point for the royals at this stage in history. Perhaps the most significant of all time. Thus far, of the history of the royals. Now, that makes me wonder... I know Charles has talked a lot about slimming down the monarchy. Well, how slim can you go, mister? How slim can you go? I don't know what that means. That's a kind of a weird statement. How slim do you want it? Uh, I, know, I don't know. What's his name? Uh, what's his name? Will, Prince William just got rid of the, the, the piggy bank of Camilla's sister. Is that right? Yikes. And her son. The, the privy purse. That's big. I mean, just really just dropping people off that had been on that for a long time. Um, whoa. A wowzer. Right. Right. Okay. So, this is the turning point. Now, what is this death, let's say this death card archetype, what is this revolutionary change going to look like for the royals? And I'm going to just keep zooming out, if you like. 
What is this revolutionary change going to look like for the Royals? Because I'm curious. Cards are hard. What is this revolutionary change? Huh, now we see the last card, the world underlying energy. That's interesting. Okay, uh, the seven of, excuse me, seven, the seven, the four of swords, the high priestess, the seven. Um, the queen of pentacles, the king of cups, and the five of swords. Okay, what sort of, what's this change going to look like? King and a Queen, Five of Swords, High Priestess. It, I mean, this is an interesting card here, the Five of Swords. It speaks to some type of engagement. And I don't mean that in terms of marriage. There's some type of challenge to the Royals or challenging situation that they are not going to be able to surmount. So it's kind of like an eroding of the royals in some way. I guess that's what I'm seeing on that card. Oh, I know that people are not going to want to hear that. I know people are, oh, okay. I'm not saying it's the end. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, I'm not saying it's the end, but it looks like this is going to change the shape of the face of the, or the something about the royals for a long time. Hmm. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. There's clearly two players here, a sort of a, at least a king and a queen um, involved, but at least two players. It's just interesting. This sort of this card here, you know, the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords kind of buffer this reading um, or frame this reading rather. A better way of saying it. it It's almost, it's almost actually saying that, you know, by not being more defensive or by not sort of being more active in defense, uh, there's been a, a sort of a, 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 a situation that's not sort of victorious, in other words. So it's like almost like they didn't defend themselves strongly enough. A kind of energy coming in here. Very strange. High Priestess. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, that's the card of receptivity, isn't it? In other words, they're too passive about something. Passivity is maybe got them at the end of the day. Um, that's interesting. So it's like almost sort of the yielding to... the yielding to the forces that are at work now, and that's going to sort of be... Or maybe they yield to the forces at work. Maybe that's actually active yielding. Uh, maybe they're going to have to. I don't know what these forces are. But uh, it seems to be that that is the case, at least in some ways. It's all very, it's a bit archetypical. It's a bit energetic. It's a bit sort of like what on earth, you know, what on earth is, is this exactly talking about as well? But, but you know, but at the same time, it's, it's interesting. I guess this is kind of the same energy that led to Megan being in the royal family at the first place. Didn't vet her, didn't make her weighty Katie for seven or eight years or whatever they should keep going on about, Megan. All right, but, uh, you know, maybe they should have made weighty Megan. You know, maybe when you're 50, we'll let you in. We'll let you in, maybe, you know, we'll, all the rest of it. Maybe they should have vigorously, you know, tested her patience and her mettle. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not what to say. It's just sort of, I guess weakness may have allowed this to happen in some ways, right? Whatever's going to unfold, it seems to be because of some type of weakness. Which is interesting because that has been a prime criticism of the Royals. I know we were talking about that a few years ago now with, um, uh, with Charles and with everything that was going on. It seems to be a little bit too sort of, you know, kind of a little bit too soft and that's maybe the problem here because when you're dealing with people that are so narcissistic this i guess this is the problem uh you kind of don't realize a lot of uh, good people sometimes don't realize how bad the narcissist can be until the end 
until until things have gotten way out of hand. Now, I'm not saying she's going to be the downfall of the Royals, but she's a symptom of it, isn't she? Is she not? It's kind of like having a, ba a poor immune system. I mean, oh, I got a cold now. My immune system's, you know, trashed. Now I've got a cold. Now I've got a flu. Now I've got, what is it? Pneumonia, right? It, that's kind of it. Oh, I just started out with a poor immune system. My defenses weren't strong enough. That sort of seems to be uh, the go a little bit here. It seems to be what the issue is actually at this time. Now, I, I guess William is probably, you know, everyone's hoping and we're all seeing William's trying to bolster that defensive energy, but it might be too little too late. Maybe. Will William save the royal family? One more bonus question. I'm going to throw those, throw that down. Will he save the royals with his uh, energy? With his energy. Cards are hot. Cards are hot. Cards are hot. Will he save a four of swords again? The same position as well. Weird. It's like a king of coins. Two of cups. Prince of cups. Seven of wands. He's trying to defend for sure. Uh, eight of cups. You know, walking away. I wasn't that a recent episode of Famous Fortunes we saw this about William? Something going to happen with... Well, yeah, I know. I don't want to get into that. There'll be two downers today. Um, <laughs> let's not do that right now, but... Is he going to sort of save... He's going to absolutely put up a fight to defend it. Um, man, but the strange energy here with the Eight of Cups. We're going to have to see how this plays out. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting time in history, I would say. So with that said, I will love you and leave you, and I'll see you in the comment section.